squad boss. What's up people, this is the squad boss and I'm gonna give you some tips on how to rank up in Tekken 8. Now Tekken is a complicated game and with the release of Tekken 8 there are a bunch of new moves and characters. Half of the time you're probably just confused and wondering what is happening, do I attack now? Next thing you know is game over and you just lost the match. So I'm gonna give you two tips. The first is replay mode. Tekken has an amazing feature called replay mode. So if you lost a match and you want to know why, then I would recommend that you jump into replay mode if you're someone like me who likes to learn on the go. There's two main ways I'd use this. Firstly, you can use your own replays for my replays and tips. Watch them and find weaknesses in your own gameplay and ways that you can improve. Or you can use other people's matches to train. It gives you huge advantages in that you can select a specific character and train in matches that are even above your own rank. All the information is stated at the bottom of the screen. Click open menu and you can click all unless you have a specific friend you want to train against their playstyle or somebody that you're following or a rival. Generally, I leave it on all. The matches, I would select ranked matches because I believe that ranked matches tend to be more serious and players take their rank more seriously so they will really try to win. If you use quick matches for example, they might not take the matches seriously and they might try a bunch of jokes and gimmicks and you will not learn how to handle yourself in a real serious match. So I would suggest to use rank matches. Pick the character that you want to use to train with that you would like to be. I'm gonna pick Azucena. Then pick the opponent character that you would want to train against. So, nobody knows what Devagin is doing online. <laughs> so I will use Devagin as an example in this case. If you know a specific Tekken ID for, a, for example, a pro player that you might want to use or their matches to train with, then you can use it. I would suggest that you take your matches from the middle ranks, depending on where you are. Because in the middle ranks, they have the foundation knowledge to be able to play the game at a certain technical level, but they're still likely to use certain strings and certain much of specific things that you might not see in the higher ranks because people already know how to deal with them. So if you select a high, higher ranking match, then you won't see certain things that you might need to train against. That depends, of course, on what level you are. So I'll go into this match in the red rocks play replay I'm on the left side so I pick the left character which is Azucena okay as I said before all the options are listed at the bottom of the screen so what you do is you find a specific moment in the match that you want to learn from then you can select player one or player two controls if you're on the player one side you would press the button for the player 1 controls. If you're on the player 2 side, then you press the button for the player 2 controls. I'm on the player 1 side, so there's a specific circumstance that I want to choose. If you press a button, then you will take over. But if you don't press anything, then the match will continue to play out as normal. Okay, let's check out this scenario. In this scenario, you see that the Devil Jin uses a string there. Right? And he puts up a huge amount of pressure on him. In this scenario, instead of eating the pressure, you see that we can just jab him out of the air and get a full combo. So now we have a little bit more knowledge on how to deal with that scenario. There you go, we can use a heat engager or a power crush to get through that move. There we go, so now we know we have an option of the power crush. So we can jab and we can power crush. And we can also sidestep right. 
when you go into replay mode i would recommend that you turn on all the information so you turn on your player attack info and your opponent attack info so you know how much damage your combos are doing you turn on your details of your frame information so you know what your frame advantage you have I prefer though to just show frame advantage for me it's more simple and it helps me to follow it better and easier for me personally recommended punishment techniques you turn that on display while paused so if there's a move that you didn't punish it will show you that move and it will allow you to practice the punishment for that specific move recommended sample combos I don't find that the sample combos in the game are the best but it's a good starting ground to learn the combo basics of your character. High moves you can duck under, it's very important. Sometimes when you're under pressure in a match, the only advantage that you can get is to duck a high in a string and punish them. And that might be a big turning point in your gameplay and in your match and allow you to win the round. Throw commands, if you have trouble sometimes recognizing what the throws are, what the breaks are, or for example, getting out of certain chain throws, then I would recommend you also turn on the throw commands and it will explain to you what buttons you should press to break what throws in what scenarios. If you want to check the tips, you can see the buttons down the bottom. Now it's showing you that after you block with Azucena, after you block this specific low from Devil Jin, then you can punish it with a throw and go into heat. There we go. And you can practice this as many times as you want. So now you know the punish for this. Bam. Hit them with a throw. The second tip I have for you is to play multiple characters. Every character has specific elements that you need to use to win. So playing multiple characters will improve various aspects of your gameplay and will teach you how they function and how to beat them. I recommend switching in between your main and a new character every two weeks. At least for the beginning of the game and then when you become more advanced and understanding of the specific matchups that you want, then you can spend more time on your main. Alright, so that's it people. I hope you appreciate the content. If you do, please support me. Like the video and subscribe to my channel. I will really, really appreciate it. Thank you. Squad boss.